Tuition fees at the University of Leeds are expected to rise to between seven and eight thousand pounds per year. That's according to the Vice Chancellor Michael Arthur in response to the Brown Review published this morning. The report recommends that there should no longer be a cap on tuition fees and that each university should be free to set their own price. The current fees for Leeds Uni are £3,290, but it is expected that this will at least double, with students starting university in 2012 paying between £7 and £8,000 per year, leaving them with a total debt averaging at £38,000. In a press conference today, the Vice-Chancellor Michael Arthur, who was also chair of the Russell Group, said he welcomed the recommendations. My initial reaction is supportive. Um, this is a very important development. The reason I'm supportive is that I think it helps to solve a very important problem, which is the underfunding of universities, um, which is long-standing. Um, and it does, you know, the key thing to me is the academic excellence of this institution, the quality of what I can provide to our students. And this Brown report gives me an opportunity to put the appropriate funding in place. But Rachel Wenston from the Leeds University Union Exec thinks the financial burden of education shouldn't fall wholly on students. There is a value of education um, beyond just what a graduate receives themselves. There is a value to business, there is a value to society, to the economy. And it is only fair, therefore, that business puts more money into education, that the government puts money into education and to ensure that, ensure that those graduates that are needed for our service economy are able to graduate from good universities, from world-class universities. Under the current system, students begin to pay back their debt once they're earning at least £15,000. But Lord Brown is recommending this figure rises to 21000 John Snow was at the University of Leeds today to host a live Channel 4 debate on higher education funding. The real key is is Britain still, and perhaps going to be even more, a classed society than it was before? It already is. I don't think the class system has been broken down in any way in the time that I've been alive, and that's a long time. And I think this will make it even worse. I, I think uh, the divided educational system we have is extremely bad for a cohesive, homogenous society. And I think that uh, if, if if universities go the same way and we get a two-tier system, it'll be a disaster for this country. Amongst students on campus today, there seems to be a common feeling of negativity towards a rise in tuition fees. I think it's really excessive. I think it is ridiculous. Um, I think it's out of order as well because there's lots of people already that can't really afford to go to uni and they want to. And to do this, I know they want to sort of get less people and get people that really want to be here here, but I mean... It's a bit out of order really, isn't it? Because there are people that simply aren't going to be able to afford to study at uni. This is Jenny, you're studying medicine. Yeah. Um, tell us what what situation would you be in if, if you were just coming to university now or in well, 2012 and you were expected to pay these, these kind of fees? Well, um, at the moment, as it stands, it's a five or six year course, depending on how you do it. And um, you already come out, if you take the full loan, you already come out with a, um, a loan of £45,000 by the end of it. Um, obviously that's dependent on means testing and things, but um, if you take the full loan. So if, you, if you've got even higher tuition fees, it's going to be an even huger loan. And £45,000 is quite a huge amount already. Imagine that being so much more, you'd just be... I, don't, I think it would put people off substantially. I don't think it would be value for money having to pay twice what we're paying now, but not having a degree is... It's so difficult, sort of one in every two candidates for a job would have a degree and if you don't have that degree then you wouldn't even get a look in. So it wouldn't be feasible not to go to uni, but now it's making it not feasible to go to uni, it's sort of a catch-22 really. President of the National Union of Students, Aaron Porter, opposed the review, saying it is desperately out of touch with the real world and apparently sees no problem with putting students and their families under huge extra financial pressure in a time of austerity. Prior to the report being published, Leeds University Union have also been asking students their views on higher education funding. Two questions we asked. One was, would you, at the moment, if paying for your degree at the £3,000 rate, would you recommend the University of Leeds to your friends and to other people thinking about it? Overwhelmingly, people said, yes, we would recommend it. But the higher the fee got, so we then asked seven, eight, nine thousand pounds the higher the, the higher the fees got, the, the more people were like, definitely not. I will not be recommending the University of Leeds to people. Both the Vice-Chancellor and John Snow oppose a graduate tax, but Snow does think there is an alternative. There is a perfectly reasonable way out of this. Uh, 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 
the first thing is that we need to change the tax system so that corporations that want to give uh, money or, or, or indeed are persuaded, or perhaps even forced to give money, get tax breaks. And therefore you would, you would have many, many more companies um, offsetting the value they get from graduates from Leeds University by paying something into the system and getting a tax break in return. I mean, that's cheaper for the state than for the state carrying the entire burden. But the Vice-Chancellor still thinks a University of Leeds degree will be worthwhile. You come to this university, um, it's a life-changing event. Right? You're going to be a different person when you, leave, when you leave here. You're going to have had a fantastic education. You're going to learn a lot around that education. You're going to be a well-grounded um, individual of value to the society that you're going to live and work in and we're going to give that to you. I guess we just need to wait and see what the government does with it. So at the end of the day, it's their decision, and I know I'm going to be out there lobbying, and hopefully everyone else will come along and make the government listen to the student voice and hear that students are not up for this rise in fees. They cut back on education. We go into occupation. Lead students are not taking the report line down, and as the sun sets, many have already begun to protest. <laughs>